Stay back, stay black in America. That's the name of my my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, subscribe. Uh, I was watching a video uh, today about um, I guess some place in Africa. It didn't say where. I don't know whether it was a staged video, whether it was a real video. But a lady with a loudspeaker. She looked really like uh, really demonic and evil looking, like white glassy eyes and. And having people uh, burn up uh, Bibles and burn up other, other like paraphernalia, like it has something to do with church, or or burn up the uh, the European uh, 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 pictures of, of, of you know Christ, and just uh, talking down about Christianity that's not a real religion. Uh, you know, let's get rid of it, go back to something else. And I'm just looking at him and saying, "What's up?" Like, wow, it looks like only about maybe 20, 30 people in the picture. So hopefully, it's just a you know small group of uh, people who are maybe just dealing in uh, witchcraft or some other kind of crazy demonic thing and just, uh, you know, got in front of a camera and it's on YouTube all of a sudden. But I would say to myself that, uh, you know, you got almost 1.5 billion Africans in the 54 nations of that, of that country. And, uh, you know, Christianity is not a, it's not a European thing. Uh, quite naturally, a lot of Countries like here in America, they, if you go to most most churches, they got the white looking Jesus up there. I guess they want to see if Jesus look like them. We you know in the Bible it says God is the Spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. We know that um, it, Christ came through the um, through the Hebrew line of Israel, so we so we know he probably was uh, it was in Africa. He probably was brown skin or dark skin or something, maybe curly hair, woolly hair, or whatever the case was. So. Just because Europeans want to make him out to be like a, a European, like a, you know, Christ, the Son of God, or Yeshua, you know, if you if you research and learn exactly what you know what it is, you, you pretty much know, you know, what Christ looks like. But you, what you got to remember is that the the, the, the plan that, that God made, the order in which His Son was sacrificed for the sins of the world, it means everybody, everybody come to the kingdom of heaven. It wouldn't be. You missed out. Grace would bring it in, not by works, not by anything you've done, you've done, but simply by the death of Jesus Christ and His resurrection, and by accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and repenting of your sins. Your name's written in the Lamb Book of Life. There's no hard work, no struggle, no nothing you got to pay for. It's all grace and it's all free. So hopefully uh, nobody's been duped into running away from that because you got people talking about a European picture of Christ or something like that. Or, you know, just just the kind of silly thing in the world. But it's the kind of thing the devil does. The devil is a uh, full of confusion. He wants to confuse the brother. He wants to say my people perish because of lack of knowledge. He wants everybody to perish. He wants everybody to go to hell. He don't care what ethnic you are. He wants you to go to hell. So he know he's going there. But of course he's a and like an immortal being that's been around a long time. Probably probably was around for human when humans were being were being made first he was around he was an angel who was cast out of heaven. Not only cast out he was swung out of heaven like lightning to earth because you know when he tried to rise up against God it was found no place for him in heaven so he was shot down to earth. So Pretty much the way it is. He's gonna be in one place at a time. God is every place all the time, every place, you know. So uh, and again, I say the devil gonna be one place at a time. He travels to and fro around. He got no, you know. So he only do what God allows him to do. He can't do nothing else, you know. So the thing is, uh, don't don't fall. Don't get duped for that. Don't uh, you know, don't fall for the underdog thing. You know, uh, uh, if you ask Jesus Christ, like I say, repent of your sins, uh, and ask Jesus Christ to come live in your heart. You're going to heaven, and the most important thing you do, you want to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Is you tarry for the Holy Spirit. You you pray for it through supplication. That's the way you fill with this precious Holy Spirit. Sometimes it falls on you like a dove. Sometimes it doesn't. But the bottom line is that uh, Christianity is the way to go. So uh, you know, when Christ died, He died for the sins of the entire world. They came through 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 the Jewish line because Jewish people used to people who were rich would sacrifice a bull. People who were middle uh, uh, middle prophet would I mean you know. Medium man come with, with, with sacrifice a deer or, or a sheep, I'm, I'm sorry. And people real poor would sacrifice a, a, a dove. So he came through that line of the Jewish thing and he, God made him a sacrifice for the entire world. So no more sacrifice has to be done. Uh, Jesus Christ paid the price. Yeshua paid the, paid the price. So he caught up in a hype, you know. Don't perish because of that. I mean, uh, live your life in the, in the fullest. Uh, enjoy yourself and live out your dreams and knowing that you're name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life when it's all over it. So uh, uh, stay away from that. D don't be like the old saying that says that um, going to hell in a handbasket. That, that's, a, that's a term that was created in America in 1840 uh, during, during the American gold rush when they, when they were lowering people down in, in, in baskets 
to set up explosives to, to blow part of the mountain size. They could find some gold. Sometimes explosives blew up and killed the people in their pursuit to get rich. So, you know, that's what that means. So, you know, don't don't be like that. Don't don't be somebody who just, you know, turns away from God, turns away from the protocol that, that God made for man to come to him, woman and man to come to him, all the things of the world to come to him. You know, the Bible says that people around the throne will be so numerous won't be able to count. So you know it's by grace. Nobody's earning it in heaven. It's a grace, a free gift by God. So you know, stay black in America. Don't go anywhere. Keep keep Christ and, and, and God in your life over there in Africa and every place else. And, uh, and my desire for everybody to go to heaven and nobody to go to hell. So my channel here in America is Stay Black in America. No greater place in the world for a black man or a black woman. Subscribe to my channel. Bye.